In this video, I'm going to show you how to lube up your brakes. Uh, this video is going to be on the performance and later a video on the long range uh, because their brakes are pretty different. This is, um, this is a Brembo uh, four piston monoblock. Um, as you can see here, you got this um, strengthening uh, bridge going over here. Uh, this is way bigger, way more solid than the uh, long range and th this one is solid. It means that it's fastened here with two bolts behind here. Uh, so this one doesn't move like on the uh, long range. Um, it has these slider pins which is mounted on and when you use the brake the caliper is moving on those sliding pins. Here you got a free play in the rotor. So this is a two-part rotor and this rotor is sliding. And this one is uh, just fastened. It doesn't move at all, uh, but the brake rotor is moving between. Um, so quite a difference. So anyway, I'm gonna show you the long range in another video. And this is a procedure you wanna do when you change your tires, because uh, during the summer, you're probably gonna get a lot of brake dust and stuff and especially after winter because you're gonna get a lot of um, salt and corrosion and stuff so in order to do it we have to take off two 20 millimeter bolts behind here they're actually female torques uh, so a 20 millimeter and somebody just called them uh, star pipe star star something but it's a torx uh female 20 mil two bolts behind here i'm gonna take them off and the caliper so there's off. two bolts one up here and one down here uh they're the only 20 millimeter torx behind here and they're the one up here fastening the uh, here and down there so before you take the caliper off, you want to loosen up these ones. I'm just gonna take them off and you're probably gonna need some force taking them off and you need to torque them to, to spec and I gotta give you the figures. So here's the bolt, second bolt. Now I want something to rest the caliper on because now we can just take it off. So after getting your caliper resting on something, you need a Torx 40, taking out these pins just to clean them. So with those bolts out of the way, you can just take out the pads. Then take a brush and clean this area here. Like that. And do the same on the remaining three. Never use brake cleaner because that's gonna ruin the paint on your calipers. Then we're gonna clean this one. If it's very dirty, if it's very dirty, you can take it out and clean it with uh, some brake cleaner and just dry it off, but this one isn't that bad, so I'm just gonna brush it off. You just pop it off with a screwdriver. 
on either side. or copper paste or whatever has been used here. Um, if it's burnt, you can just use um, a steel brush or something like this, just to get it off. Then we put on some, just a little bit, uh, Aluminum paste is better than copper paste because copper paste gets uh, thick and sticks. So you just want a small, small layer on each side. Just smooth, use a small pen, pencil or a small brush. Just a little bit on each side. That, that's where the contact surface is. So then we can install the... or put it back. Like that. And do the same with the other one. Okay. Have some brake cleaner on some cloth and just get the grease off these pins so they are good as new if there's anything burned you can just uh, use some steel brush carefully to take it off or some brass brush but just use it carefully the best way is just to use a brake cleaner on these pins we are going to use some um, Loctite uh, So we're just going to apply some Loctite That was a little bit much but Just like that First pad Just align it I'm going to do the same thing with the other bolt take the second pad just put it in then we just align it So before anything, I need to put this back on. So when you put a bolt in and you have secured it, then we can tighten up this one. And you want to you want to secure them firmly. Like that. And also on these pins here, um, if you want to, I, I don't think it's necessary, but I can do it 
but if you want to you can add some silicone grease here for high temperatures and then you just want to add just a little bit just just add a little bit of the silicone on those pins and that's pretty much it that's your brake lubing then you can just clean everything up when cleaning it just use uh, rubbing alcohol that's good enough then you just take your wheel on and you're ready to do the back side or the other front side but it's fairly easy on this one all right so this is the uh, rear caliper of the performance I'm gonna do the looping here um, and cleaning but uh, the first thing you need to do is uh, <laughs> actually you need some help uh, when you got the car up and you got it on the stand or whatever uh, you need to get it in neutral because you have to disconnect this small motor sitting here which is the parking brake if the parking brake isn't released the caliper you can't get the caliper off because it will be uh, pressed in so either uh, be creative have something pulling the brake in and secure your car put like um, put something in front and the back of every wheel uh, so it won't roll when you get it in neutral you can use a broom or whatever on your uh, braking pedal because you have to put it in neutral and when you got it in neutral all you have to do is pop this one off and the way to do that is take a screwdriver and slide push this one and slide the gray one back that will unlock it so now that motor is uh, disengaged and when I turn the parking brake on now this one won't be pushed in so that's the first step second step you have to take off this um, rubber cap it's only on the top not on the bottom I don't know why but it's the same on each side that's a uh, eight millimeter uh, I think it's a hex nut or uh, as we call it here in Scandinavia uh, in Braco and there's one up here and one down here so that's the lower pin this one is an eight and I think this one is a six This one is a six. Okay, so wiggle it a little bit front and back. And it comes loose. So your braking pad is sitting on this side. And you want to clean the area where that shoe is sitting so this is the uh, shoe behind there you can see it's almost not used well there's a lot of dust here and the area we want to brush is where it's sitting behind here clean that area and put some uh, uh, paste here so just getting this area clean this is the uh, area where it's touching also on the other side because this this is also fixed fixed caliper so uh, this one this is just stuck there it doesn't move it's uh, clamped with the 
this um, I don't know what you call but they're uh, expanding so we put them in them expand and they keep uh, the pad in place um, so this caliper is moving here oh, on this is the uh, sliding point so it's fixed there and it's moving on this part and the rotor is also moving so we only need to clean this one it's like a small amount of some grease here just a small small amount then we can put it back in place so since this one is fixed here and when you break the caliper is fixed here and this this one cylinder is pushing in and out so there's not too many moving parts here and the only place where things can move is in here you can see this These cylinders are moving, same with this one. So this is moving. Uh, these ones, you can take them out and clean them with some brake fluid, wipe them off, and then you use some lubrication and glue them up again. But there's absolutely no friction or dirt in this one, so I'm not gonna bother uh, taking this off and lube it but you get the point that's how we do it and uh, probably after winter I will uh, dismantle this as well as this one just to clean it back here so it doesn't burn if I drive hard in the summer again uh, on the track or something but right now this is all good So just put on the bolts again. When you're finished, everything is tightened up. You plug it in and you turn your car on. And you that error message you have right now will be gone.